welcome back to my channel. I'm here with baby Rowan Doo -doo. and daddy. Um, and I wanted to vlog because we're going home from the hospital. So I thought I would do like a first 24 hours home with a newborn kind of video. So we are waiting to get our discharge orders. But I'll show you guys our, our little going home outfit. Spoiler alert, the next 24 hours with the newborn equals no sleep. Yep. Just like the last 24 hours. Dude. Yeah, we've had what? Maybe five hours of sleep each? In the last two days. Since Sunday night. Yeah. It's been nuts. Wrecked. So I'm just gonna wear this super comfy, thrifted maxi dress and probably change back into my pajamas when we get home. And then for baby boy, this looks really red on the camera, but it's actually more of like a brownish. It's probably reflecting on your pink. Oh yeah, my pink robe. We've got this little set and a cute little knit hat. I'm so excited to dress him up for the first time. Oh, are you waking up? Let's go see. Hi, sweetest boy in the whole wide world. Your hat's coming off. You don't want your little head to get cold. You guys, I'm obsessed with him. This is my very sexy OOTD. One day postpartum, I definitely still look about five months pregnant, but we're gonna get there. All right, the dressing of the going home outfit. You're not gonna like this. No, he's not. Little smiles. No smiles. Oh, well, now he's being grumpy. He's so expressive. Rowan, you gonna be a Shakespearean actor? That's how mommy and daddy met, so it would be very fitting, wouldn't it? Oh, hi, buddy. Hey, yawn. Hi, buddy. Oh, do we need to change oh him? Gosh, he's gonna be swimming to, in this. Do we need to change his diaper? Maybe, uh. maybe check before we dress him up. We'll, uh, we'll avert the camera here. Good job. That's the first time I've like seen his little peen, too. His little peen? His daddy's been doing all the diaper changes. Yeah. That mommy could rest. Oh, rolling around makes me glad that we're gonna have that um, thing to hold him in, in place. Oh, the snuggle mirror dinner? Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're just capturing the moment, huh, baby? Oh my gosh, it is huge. This is a newborn know, outfit. Oh, yeah. It looks like a little Jedi cloak. It kind of does. Rowan 1 Kenobi. Obi Wan. Row 1. Obi Rowan. Roby. Yeah. Roby one. It does. He looks like a little Jedi. Raise it up. Oh my gosh, this is so big. She's like, what is the strange feeling on my body? This is the best part about being a dad, right here. Little finger holds. Nom, 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 nom. Look at his little Jedi robe. I'm not gonna be able to unsee it now. Become a Jedi like my father before me. Do you think they have to remove this? They probably do, huh? They do, but she said to go ahead and just put the outfit on over it. Oh, she did. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Bless you honey. Oh, did that scare you? He is quite done being not swaddled. Oh, I know, I know. Ro, you're so tiny. You're so tiny. Oh. Honey bun. My little honey bun. Look at how cute you are, though. My little baby. Should I should I get a swaddle for him? Do you think? I mean, we're gonna put him in the car seat. We're gonna put him in the car seat, and we have to take his pants off to get the tag off. So maybe so, I'll just I'll hold him. Yeah. It's bright. I don't like the bright. Yeah, there you go. Rowan. Nom 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 nom. Hey, I want that. I want that. I'm like a little bit emotional about leaving the hospital. I know. I'm venturing like, out into the world with him. I feel like it went really fast. Like having our baby and like being in the hospital with him is like we, we don't that's it that's it. Nine months of lead up. Yeah. You look like a very confused little precious elf. Oh, your hat's not gonna stay on though, huh? Daddy's getting him in the car seat. He does not like it. Oh honey. Look at the next one. You look very cute though. Poor buddy. So where mommy will sit with you in the back.
Okay, baby on board. We've got our little or, baby. On board, the baby is. Mm-hmm. He's like the baby Yoda. And it's an elf baby. Let's go home, buddy. Hopefully baby likes the car better than mommy likes the car because Oh I can see <laughs> him in the mirror. Yeah. Oh ro ro. Holy Bloody crap, hands. I cannot believe. Can are. you believe they're just letting us leave with him? Oh my God. <laughs> Who said was, we were responsible enough for that? There this? wasn't a final exam. <laughs> it's okay, we'll do good. We're on our way. I'm so excited to show him his house and his room and his little bunnies. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do like a baby meets bunnies <laughs> video and I don't think it would be interesting enough for its own video, but I'll put it in this one. It might be so interesting in like a year or two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> okay, my arm is really sore and I'm really tired, so I'll see you guys at home. And he's going. See you tomorrow. Okay, We're Rowan. Here. Welcome home. Hi, bunnies. Did you see we brought someone here? They're like, what is that? Hey. Oh, he looks very upset. Oh, sweet girls. Hi. Oh, they need water. Hi, sweet boy. Do you want to see the house? Should we do a little apartment tour for you so you can get the lay of the land? Got our first spit ups. Time for an outfit change. All right, someone's very alert and awake, so we're gonna show him the apartment. This is the living room. This is where we play music. And this is where we watch TV. And this is our kitchen. You like it? And let's go see mommy and daddy's room. So just like checking everything out right now. Hi! Oh, his his lower jaw is quivering like mine does. <laughs> this is mommy and daddy's room. It's a mess because we put all of our bags in here. But look, this is where you're going to sleep, sweet boy. Look it. Can you see? This is Rowan. You want to see? That's you. That's a picture of you, baby boy. And that's daddy. Hi. And then we have your room, which you'll sleep in when you get a little bit older. Which we can finally show on camera. No more name spoiler worries. This is where you're going to sleep. Here we go. Look, Mommy made this for you when she was going stir crazy waiting for you to come last week. Do you see? Can you see? You need to get a hat and socks on, I think, girl. And this is your stroller. And look, this has your name on it. This is Rowan. It says Rowan Matthew. It's really looking around. This is where we'll change your diapers. Which we probably need to do. Yeah. And this is where we're going to nurse you. And these are all your books. All your books that we will read to you. And some toys. Yeah. He's just checking everything out. It's so cute. Okay, I'm going to give you to Daddy so Mommy can spray her nether regions. Wait, one more thing to show him. Oh my gosh. He's Rowan. This is called a computer. This is Daddy's second favorite thing he's ever made. <laughs> this is called Star Wars. <laughs> See, he's looking at it. It yeah. is. Oh. Okay, let's give you to Daddy. What do you think, Poppy? We brought you home a little friend. Oh my gosh, look, he's, he's not that much bigger than her. If you look like lengthwise, she just does not know what to do. Not that interesting. She's sniffing. Baby brother's waking up, though. She's very curious. Oh, Roro. Oh, sweet boy. I am feeling very tired and very sore. And I took my first postpartum poop, which is crazy because that wasn't supposed to happen until like day two or three after delivery. And I just delivered like less than 36 hours ago. So it wasn't super fun, but that's my very glamorous update. I don't know how much more we'll film tonight because we're kind of gassed, but um, we didn't get home until like four. So I'll do the full 24 hours. So I might see you later. I might catch you tomorrow. I'm not sure. So it's noon on 
Thursday, July 2nd, and we brought baby Rowan home yesterday. And last night was very difficult. <laughs> we got home around like 4.35ish maybe. Um, did the little like apartment tour for him, which was super cute. Um, and then he fell asleep on me um, on the couch. And then like the rest of the night is kind of a blur. Um, he did not sleep until maybe two in the morning again after after that um mama fed him and then it was just kind of like she fed him around i don't know probably seven or eight or something before like bedtime and then he was just inconsolable he was so cranky and just crying we couldn't put him down or like if we we, we struggled with swaddling him that was a, that was a huge thing you know, Megan was was trying to nurse him because he kept he kept making making the noises that or whatever um, suckling noises, and so it's like, well, he's hungry, um, and her you know breasts are just so sore from from getting used to breastfeeding and everything, and so like she was in a ton of pain and um, cried a little bit. It made me cry just like seeing her in pain like that. Um, but we like we were were burping him we were feeding him and then he would just like keep he would keep doing the noise like like he was still hungry and we just like didn't know what to do we thought maybe we overfed him or whatever and like he had an upset tummy last night it was just it was like two in the morning we didn't know what to do we called the hospital and we're like hey here's what's going on um like it seems like he's cluster feeding but this seems early for cluster feeding, I guess. You know, we don't know. You know, Google search and you think you know stuff. But they're like, no, nope, everything that you're describing is normal. Um, everything you guys are doing is correct. Um, we like took a over the phone crash course on swaddling again. Um, kept taking his temperature to make sure he was okay. Um, around like two o'clock, two thirty in the morning, Megan was just like, "You need to sleep. You need to go to bed. Let me do this." Um, and she did, so I, I got a solid, like, six hours of sleep. I woke up at, like, eight o'clock. He started crying again, but she wasn't asleep. She, she says she got, like, a half an hour of sleep around 5.45 or something like that. So as far as I know, she was basically up the entire night. Um, and at eight o'clock, he started crying and woke me up. And I was just, like, I woke up feeling kind of refreshed. Not, like, fully refreshed, but I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, six hours is as much sleep as I had had the previous 48. Um, yeah, so I got up at that point, um, changed his diaper, sent her to bed. I think she had, like, just fed him. Um, and so I just came in here in the nursery, um, changed his diaper, got him swaddled. actually did a decent swaddle. Um, and then sat him down his little Snuggle Me organic that he's in right now. And he slept for, like, three hours, two and a half hours. I think Megan woke up around 10, 30, 11, just, like, the most sleep she's gotten all night since then, um, since the hospital. Um, so she woke up, fed him, um, check, we checked his diaper. I fed Megan, I was feeding her oatmeal while she was uh, breastfeeding the baby. Um, and then we've got him all wrapped up and, and swaddled back in bed. And he's fussing a little bit. I don't know what kind of trouble he's gonna get into. I'll probably play Animal Crossing or something on the Switch or I've got, you know, my phone, but yeah, that's just an update um, on day two. It was a really rough night, but you know, he, he survived the night. We survived the night, so we'll just keep keep plugging away at it. And yeah, we'll keep updating as the day goes on. So it's like 1.30 in the afternoon now. Um, mommy's still sleeping, baby's still sleeping. I'm out here in the kitchen making some chicky nug nugs. And our perfect order just came in and yeah, I've got, got the baby monitor on uh, here so I can keep an eye on him. Um, and we've got the, I've got the ocean, ocean noises playing, uh, just white noise in the room. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what's in here. Clean, clean the countertop. It's like her favorite thing in the world. So, 
We're gonna. Oh! Look who's awake! Good morning! It's so good. Good. Oh, honey, thank you. Is your TV here yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, I made chicky tenders if you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, they're looking good. Finger looking good. She's still sleeping. There he is. Still sleeping. A good boy. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this down. Sorry if you can hear the fan, but this is me. Two days postpartum. It's so funny. I feel like my whole pregnancy, I was so concerned about my body. And all the other pregnant women I knew were like, oh, my body's doing something amazing, so I don't care what it looks like. And I was like not that healthy about it, but I feel that way now. Like I feel, especially after doing like completely natural childbirth, I'm like, wow, you take all the time you need. But I have been wearing this abdominal binder just to give me some extra support. I asked for this at the hospital because right now it kind of feels like my intestines are gonna fall out. Um, and the binder has been really, really great. so good. I'm gonna wake up my sweet boy and nurse him. I feel so good after almost five hours of sleep now combined through the night. I feel like that's so good given how rough last night was. I'm sure Matt explained to you guys what happened. Here's looking a little rough though. Okay so it is almost three o'clock now and baby boy has just had another feeding since mommy was awake and now we are going to wash his hair because he's a very greasy boy. Like his daddy, and we've all been touching him and rubbing him, and you know, they haven't washed his hair since he was born. So we were gonna give him a little sink bath. Um, just his hair, because we gotta keep his uh, umbilical cord stump dry um, for a little while longer. So we've got the sink cleaned up, and we've got some little water running, and some Johnson & Johnson and a rubber ducky bath towel, and uh, we're gonna give him a little wash. Okay, I think we're good. All right, here's the baby. Oh, that's probably too much shampoo. It's okay, man, it's That's okay, you've got a lot of hair. You gonna get it wet first? What's the temperature on that? Good. Hey, buddy. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. No, don't. Get him, get him farther away. Sorry. I'm just going to use my hand. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, buddy. You look like you're rooting around again. Are you hungry? Should mommy try to feed you again? Been sucking on his hand. He's probably trying to self-soothe self after that Aww. trauma. Okay, let's try to feed you again. Daddy, can you get the hairbrush too? Aww. Good job, baby. I know that was scary. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull him to the boom. We just had our first little outing, kind of unexpectedly because we noticed baby was looking a little yellow and Matt and his brothers all had jaundice when they were born. Um, so we called our pediatrician just to be like, hey, we noticed this. And they were like, can you come in now? And we were like, oh, shoot. So we had to get his poor little heel pricked. So I took a little video of it. I'll insert it here. What did I do? You holded him and you were so cute and I took cute pictures of you. <laughs> well, You're being so cute good at calming him down. Champion then, I'm all for it. Yep, I got the cutest championist family ever. <laughs> all right, Nana and I'm already calling her Nana. Grandpa, Papa, we haven't decided what he wants to be called yet, but they came to see, to see baby boy just down from the sidewalk and Matt's in the window over there. So fun. I'm gonna go film from his point of view. Do you see? Do you see your Nana and your Grandpa? Saying hi to Nana and Grandpa. Hi. hi. Here they are. Matt's parents have been the best ever and brought us food and some uh, postpartum supplies from Target. Sweet boy. Can you say we love you? Oh, sleepy boy. Sleepy boy, but not sleepy enough. <laughs> 
Bye, guys.